out of the zoning is they would have to be smaller houses than what could be on a R43. So that's the only thing that I saw on that day. Commissioner Bloomfield. I, <clears throat> excuse me, as I took a look at this and, and the area and looked at the letters from the, of concern from the residents um, and taking a look at, at the, the lots around there, the lot, the roadway there is in a roadway easement of which this parcel did not contribute any towards that. And, and so the property, the adjoining property boundaries to the east is at their property line and the roadway is completely on, on the adjacent parcels. So when I look at it that way, I understood the concern of, of at least one of the, the residents that sent an email in saying, I don't think that they really truly got access here appropriately and, and they do have access because it's a public easement, but public roadway easement, but, but I can understand that concern and appreciate it. So um, from my perspective, this lot was there. It's, it's this uh, lot split serves only them. It doesn't do anything to benefit anybody around it. Um, keeping it, uh, however, keeping it as it is, you're limiting the amount of, of value in the area by that one lot and by another home that's there. And so I'm kind of torn. I was looking forward to coming here and, and hearing what the other commission commission members had to say in regard to this. Initially, I'm, I'm opposed to it, um, not really a fan of it, and but, but I can be persuaded, I think, so. Other comments? Yeah. Commissioner, uh, hold on one second. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Commissioner Cavani. Just, just to, to Commissioner Bloomfield's point, just a quick question. So if if the roadway is under is under other property, not owned or contributed to by this parcel, does that impact the sewer line access? Are they going to be able to get access up that road or on either side of it if they don't even own it? That's, that's a fair question. Yeah. Um, but as I look at the ownership, at least uh, the applicant is the owner of the parcel to the south, so he could grant an oh. easement across his parcel to get out if, if required. Don't know that he's willing to do that or or what kind of what kind of impact that would create the improvements on that would parcel. Be yeah, but I think it could still be accomplished even if they couldn't get into the street and install that. But my guess is that they might have the ability to do that based on the easement that's there. Commissioner Johns. Yeah, to follow up on your question, I, I, I guess I do have a question for you. You're saying that the roadway was not this lot didn't contribute to the roadway? I miss, I didn't understand that when I saw that. In the, the, the roadway easement is completely on the lots to the west of it. Um, the, the parcel boundary and the essential parcel maps, his boundary line is oh. the east side of that roadway and all of that roadway easement is on the adjacent parcels. It didn't go to the center line. I didn't understand that, sorry. Yeah. Now, my question, the reason I raised my hand on it, there is like a little 10-foot easement that goes to the center of this lot. Oh, geez, it's gone. Um, Ashley, can you come up? Thanks. Is that is that a utility easement? Or it doesn't really say, it just says 10 feet, and it kind of goes over, you see what I mean? And if that is, does that continue on to the next lot? Or what is that a water, is that sewer? Uh, Chairman and Commissioner Johns, uh, that is a utility easement, but I also can address uh, the easement concern of 154th Street uh, because that was raised as one of the questions in one of those letters, so I did dig into it. And when that easement was dedicated, it was done, uh, this was all under ownership circle R investments, the entire length of 154th Street, and conveyance of that easement for access as well as utilities when they to the specific properties. Um, so, so that answers that question as well. And, and in addition, it is access and abilities. And so it does continue on to the lot to the west? Uh, north to the north. This is turned sideways, but... To the north. Would it have been drawn all the way through as a... It typically would have. Uh, I'm not sure what that easement is for, that 10-foot easement. Ashley, do you have any idea? Uh, 
I mean, we didn't have, we weren't privy to the title report where you might have yeah. been, so. On exactly. the survey, it says uh, utility and irrigation, but I wonder if it was a irrigation and then got abandoned on the on the parcel to the south. Okay, because I, it goes to the center of a lot, like there was intent to divide this originally. So, not that makes this you know uh, impact on, and I you know also on the county side, there's a lot of lots back over there. Just you know you can't really tell just from looking at them, but just at the end of, just in the corner where it turns, there's a lot that's less than the 3,500. So being consistent to only this neighborhood, I, I mean, the neighborhood does have lots of around that size. So I, I'm on the wall on this myself. And yeah, I was just kind of curious where that easement ran. Ashley, do you have some additional information? I do. So that easement um, is an irrigation easement here that, that goes along this property line, so from he, from this property owner to here. Um, and then in addition, he, uh, the applicant, Mr. Van Dam, did indicate as well that they paid for this access easement. So there was a transfer of funds for, for access. Okay. Thank you. Uh, any other questions or comments? Commissioner Froelich. I have a question. You had made mention that there were some other one to two acre dwelling units per acre in this area that have that classification. Could, could you show me where those are? Sure. So looking at this map, uh, they're not contiguous to this property, but up in this area, so just to the northeast. M my opinion is, uh, in you know, seeing, reading those letters and trying to think about the property owners that are in this vicinity, they have a certain feel for their community and I, I do respect that. And while it might not seem like a lot to go to one to two acres, it's probably a big deal to them. Um, currently, is it in the middle of that subdivision? If there were other properties like that, then I, I don't think I would have much of a problem was splitting that, but uh, there's really nothing else in that area like that. Okay, thank you. Are there any other final comments? Um, I'd like to have more discussion because I'm on the fence. Okay. Chairman, if I, if I can ask you a question. Yes. Ashley, that 10-foot easement that goes across the parcel B, was that is that a creation of this lot split or was it there previous? It's a creation of this lot split, so to provide utility and irrigation up to parcel A. Gotcha. Go ahead. So, you know, I, I'm not on the fence. I, I don't, I think this lot is substantially larger than any others in the neighborhood, and we're bringing it down to something more commensurate with what is average out there. So, and I don't think it meets either of the criteria cited as concerns by those who wrote letters in. I, I, I don't think it reduces value. I don't think it, it um, I, I don't think it's a, a problem for access. I don't think it's a problem for, for anything. I don't think it's setting a precedence. So I'm not, I'm not sure I see the, cons the, the, the trouble here. I, I certainly appreciate the people that wrote the letters in, I, and we've talked about their concerns, but I, I don't see a problem allowing this to happen. I think it's going to make the lots more, um, more commensurate with one another. Instead of having this massive lot with, even if you put a big home on a 70 acre or a 70,000 square foot lot, it's, it's going to, it's, it's not going to fit with the rest of the homes in the area. So I think this actually brings it into a little bit more of a fit. So I, I, I'm definitely, I'm for it. I'm, uh, I'll vote for it. So. Okay. Uh, Vice Chair, do you want to make any comments? Uh, the only comment I have to say is I agree with Mr. Cabney. I think he's kind of right on with everything that he said. Yeah, and I guess to add my, my feeling on it as well, I agree. Um, you know, they're 20,000 square feet over an acre versus going 9,000 square feet under an acre. So I, 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 I would agree. A 70,000 square foot lot, you, there's a lot to do with that. Um, so to bring it down into 235, I think, is a reasonable request by the applicant. Um, so I would be in favor of this as well. Um, you know, we don't have to be 7-0 up here, so. Well, I, I like that comment. It makes me think, because, I mean, the math is a little off. It's, it's, it's summertime. <laughs> it's summertime in the education world, so. <laughs>
Forgive me if I'm a couple eight, thousand, yeah, a couple thousand, thousand. <laughs> but, <laughs> give or take. But but I I, I that kind of I kind of thinking about that. I mean, you're coming closer to the 43 than you're tremendously over 43 at that point. Mm -hmm. um, so okay. Here's, here's just another quick thought. So if you have a 35,000 square foot lot, are you more likely to maintain, manicure, and, and keep it improved than if you're trying to maintain, manage, and care for a 70,000 square foot lot, right? But I think you're going to get a better look and feel rather than have half of this property stay unkempt uh, because it's, it's a lot to take care of for a single family home. So I, I, I think, I don't know, I think, it's, I think it's actually an okay thing to do. I think it's a good thing to do. So just from that thought, I don't know. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call for a motion. It, it, Chairman, if I may, I, I blew the last one so bad, I like another at bat here. So oh, <laughs> try sure. You, GP 17-01, we're, we're going to do two separate motions. I'm going to st start with the zoning one. All right. Mm -hmm. that? Yes. Okay. So for the reasons set forth in the staff report. Um, Commissioner, nope. um, so oh, you do need plan to do first. the general plan first because you couldn't recommend zoning without the general plan. Sorry. I'll do it. That's what I meant. GP 17-01 goes first. Got it. Okay, so... You're already starting on the... Yeah, you're already on the bad. Dang, I blew it already. This yeah. It's terrible. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Okay, so... I recommend... It, I, I move to recommend to the Town Council approval of GP 17-01 as outlined in the staff report. Uh, motion's been made by Commissioner Cavney. Is there a second? Second. Second by Vice Chair Anderson. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Nay. Nay. I believe it's 5-2. Who are my nays? Commissioner Froelich and Commissioner Bloomfield. So motion passes. I will go ahead and call for a motion now for Z17-01. Hey, Chairman, for the reasons set forth in the staff report, I move to recommend approval to the Town Council for Z17-01 as requested and subject to the conditions listed in the staff report. Well done. Commissioner Cavani made a motion. Is there a second? Second. Vice Chair Anderson, second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Nay. Nay. Uh, so 5-2 uh, with the nays being... Commissioner Froelich and Commissioner Bloomfield. The motion passes. Very good, thank you. Um, administrative items. We'll go ahead and move on to the Planning Commission minutes. Is there a consideration of approval for the minutes from May 3rd? Motion to approve the Planning Commission minutes of May 3rd. Motion's been made by Vice Chair Anderson. Is there a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Bloomfield. All in favor? Aye. Aye, Aye. any opposed? Motion carries. Oh boy. Yes, it's that time of year. <laughs> We're going to even put this on public view so people can watch this from home. This is going to be televised. Um, commissioners, yeah. Chairman and Commissioners, um, we are recommending that you reconvene the study session so that we can finish up the two. Um, study session items, actually one. No, we do have. There, there's two. We do have two, but um, our staff is willing to make it brief. I um, am very much in support of that. Um, there's been a request for a break up here. Uh, so why don't we take a quick um, seven minute break to do what we need to do and we'll come back up here at seven o'clock. 